Welcome! This is a video for dbepresents.com. A week ago I wrote an article about the delayed durability feature in SQL Server 2014. I was quite excited about this idea of relaxing ACID properties is something new to me. Potentially, potential performance gain was also very tempting. A thought immediately came to my mind that it would be beneficial to execute a performance test to check how much we can gain by using this feature. Of course, no matter whether you have already read my previous article on dbepresents.com about the delayed durability feature or not, I have to say it once again. Delayed durability is not for every system. It can cause data loss in some scenarios. For example, I don't want my bank to have a mess in their databases and lose money, my money. But if you work on a system uh, which is one of those rare cases where the delayed durability can be applied, stay calm, relax and enjoy this performance test. I have a database on SQL Server 2014 and a table in it called test. There is a script that I'm going to run for the test. As you can see it inserts three rows into the table. All three statement, statements are wrapped in a transaction. The test will be performed with Apache JMeter tool. Uh, if you don't know this tool, don't worry, this knowledge is not necessary to understand what is going on. It's just a tool to execute SQL script and measure response times. Uh, the test plan consists of uh, one thread group which executes the script uh, you saw a moment ago. The script is run by five threads in parallel which means it simulates five users sitting in front of their computers and executing the scripts as fast as they can. The test ends when all five of them executes it 50,000 times. Summary report will show us some statistics during, the, during and after the test. If you have read my article on dbepresents.com, you should know that in fully durable transactions, commit statements triggers a uh, transaction log flash operation. It's not a very resource consuming task, but if there are a huge number of commits, it can become a bottleneck. The delayed durability feature makes transaction log flash detached from the commit statement. It, it executes, let's say, a side. It does not have to be just after the commit. It can be a second later when other commits have already been done. Then the log flash will be done once for all commits, not by this particular one. Knowing that, I want to also measure number of log flashes per second to see if there are any differences between tests with the delayed durability feature disabled and enabled. I will use Windows Performance Monitor for this. I guess there is nothing left and I can start. The first test is executing the script, script with the feature disabled. I'm starting Windows Performance Monitor. You can see there are currently no log flashes as the database does nothing now. I can start the JMeter. You can see how fast it is going. This column shows a number of executions that have already been done. Another interesting column is throughput. It shows a number of scripts, script executions per second. Let's see how a chart with log flashes looks like. More than 2000 log flashes per second is a huge number. I guess, frequent, I guess it's the same uh, of, as frequency of commits. We will need to wait a little more time to let the test finish. Uh, just to remind you, number of samples should reach uh, 250,000, which is 50,000 for each of 5 threads. And the test is finished. There are stat those are statistics gathered by JMeter. Now it is a turn for a test with the delayed durability feature enabled. 
To enable it, I'm just adding a proper option to the commit statement. There are other possibilities which you can check on my web page. I'm clearing JMeter stats and I'm starting the second test with the feature enabled. Let's take a look at the stats. I'm not sure if you see it, but it's going faster than the previous time. Uh, let's check Windows Performance Monitor. Number of log flashes is generally smaller. Before final result analysis, I will let the test to finish. The test is done. Actual, actually, both are done. You can see the first test, the one with the feature disabled, took twice more time than the one with the feature enabled. It's a huge gain in performance. Number of transaction log flashes per second is significantly lower in the second test. It's important to notice the second test finished faster with smaller number of log flashes. Of course, it makes absolute sense with the delayed durability feature description, because it does not trigger log flash after each commit, so one log flash can cover multiple commit operations. My outcome from the test is simple. The delayed durability feature can significantly improve performance. I know my my test is very artificial because it consisted of insert statements only, but it proves the feature makes sense. Before I finish, I need to tell it once again. This feature enabled can cause data loss, so most of the systems cannot take advantage of it. If you think your system can, consider the risk again. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this video useful. Bye.